In our last video, we looked at how to create a sidebar in our spreadsheet. In this video, we're going to look at how to pass values to and from that sidebar. So we're going to start with the function that we created in the last video. And with our template file that we're getting, we can actually pass different values. Um, and we do that by using dot notation. You can actually give this any name. So we're going to say, we'll call this initial value. And say initialize. Why not? Uh, now, this is passing through to this index file. Now we need to grab it and do something with it. So let's start by getting it. Um, we need to use some JavaScript here. And we are going to create a new variable called initial value. And we're going to use built-in Google Apps Script tags here that allow us to pull this information in. And we need to call this. So it equals this object that we just passed through, the string value. Uh, so now we have it passed through. Now we need to put it somewhere. Uh, let's create an input box, and we will have it be our initial value. So here we go. Input box type is text. Uh, good label for close input. All right, so now we have somewhere to put this value, and now we need to actually put it there. Element by ID, which is in the box. And I'm going to set the value to our initial value. Awesome. So now we are created the value, passed it through, and then when it grabs all of this, it's going to evaluate it and put it in the sidebar. So let's give that a try. And voila, we have an input box that says initial I. This is one method for populating data into the input box. Another way to do it is to call it asynchronously. Uh, and Google provides a way to do that. So let's first give ourselves a button. Drop down here. Um, and let's see, what ID do we want to give this button? So this is going to get our value. Call it get value. All right. Just keep it straight forward. Awesome. And actually, while we're at it, let's create a close button just to show you another way to do this. Well, we'll get that in a second. We'll start here with getting value. Um, so we want to create an event listener to look for this button click. And we're going to do that by an element by ID again. And listen, we're going to add an event listener. And we're looking for a click. And when somebody clicks, we need to create a function. And then we need to do something. So in this case, we are going to update our value. And actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So when somebody clicks on this button, our get value button, um, we want to, actually, I'm jumping ahead here, we want to go get a value. So before we do anything, we they click on the button and we want to say, go get a value for us. So we're going to hit google.script.run, and we now, now we need to tell it what to run. So we want to run a function. So let's say, get new value, so we're going to call it. So 
we're going to run the function get new value, which now we need to create this function. All right, so when we click our button, it's going to come over here, and we need to return a value. Um, so let's go back to our spreadsheets, and we, we could just type in a value here, but let's pull it from this sheet. Uh, oh, and actually, I set something up here that we didn't use. is pulling an initial value from the range, so let's do that. I set that up before I started this video. Um, so I'll just walk you through real quick what this is. Is it we set up a global variable to get our active sheets. And we're getting sheets, we're getting the range, which is the second row in the first column, and we're getting that value. So the value is we'll call it new value. We'll call it two. So now uh, you saw how we just put a string here. Uh, we can actually just use this function and accomplish the same thing because it's returning, going to the spreadsheet, getting the value, and returning that string. All right. Now we need to get our new value. So jumping back to our button click, let's go ahead and copy this. But instead of the first column, we need to get from the second column. We're going to save that. Come back over here. Now we need to do something with it. Because if we click, right now the value isn't going anywhere. It's not doing anything. So what we have to do with our google.script.run, uh, once it gets its value, it has to return it to somewhere. And the way you do that is using a with success handler. Uh, and we are going to pass it to a function in the JavaScript here. So we'll call our function um, show value, which means we now need a function called show value. And we are passing our new value here documents dot get element by ID. And we want to change the value of our input box with this. And it's going to equal the value we just passed. We can, again, if you're new to JavaScript, you can give this any name. I can say my value, in which case this would also have to be my value. So it is going to, again, what's going to happen when we click our button, it is this event listener is going to say, hey, this button was clicked. It's going to run the google.script.run, the get new value. It's going to go over here, run our sheet.getRange. It's going to get the value from here, from the second row, second column, like we've told it to. And it's going to return it to, on. well, if it's successful, it's going to return it to the function show value. And it's going to pass through as an argument, and then we are going to run document .get element by ID dot value equals my value. Uh, you can also at the same time run a with failure handler if you wanted to, and then run a separate function. Uh, we're not going to worry about that today, but just to show you that it exists. So let's go ahead and open up our. Don't really need to close that, but we're going to open up our new sidebar and see how this works. All right, so you'll see we have our initial value of one, but now we have a get value. So let's go ahead and get value. And there we go, two. Asynchronously got that value. So let's do a couple other things just to show you how other things you can do with a sidebar. Um, we are gonna add a close button to this just to show you another way to call a function. So let's call this, um, what are we calling this? Doesn't really name, need a name because it's just closing. We don't need an ID. All right, we're just gonna do an on click. 
So instead of doing an event listener in the JavaScript section here, we're just going to do it as part of the HTML call. And we're going to use google.script.host.close. Calls close. Awesome. Go over here, open up our sidebar again. See, we have close. Go ahead and close it. And there's that. All right. So now, what we want, now we have our value. We can get a value. We last thing we want to do is to be able to set a value when we click something. So uh, we'll call this set value. All right. So we can initialize the sidebar with a value. We can go ahead and we can grab a value and put it into the sidebar. Now let's send a value back to the spreadsheets. So coming back to our index file, first we need a button that's going to let us do that. We'll put it here. And button, call this set value. Super creative. All right, now we need a new event listener. So let's just go ahead and copy this. And this is something new, so we're going to work down here. All right, so when it when we click set value, uh, it's going to listen for a click, and then it's going to run google.script.run, but we don't need this right now. We want this call sets value. All right, which means we need a function on our app script side here with a matching name. Oops. Great, but we have to pass that value through somehow. So before we can pass the value through, we need to grab it. So let's get our value, which is um, call it the value okay, element by ID. We want input box. And value. And we're not saying value, so we're just not going to add the equal sign afterwards. Take this, and we're going to pass it as an argument to the set value function, which is right over here. So let's go ahead and save this. And now we need to do something here. So we'll do sheet, get range, and we put this in the second row still. But this one is in the third column. Whoops, set value. Set input value. Again, if you're new to this, you can give this any name. It doesn't need to be input value. It can be any any name you want. It could just be value. Um, but we won't worry about that right now. Uh, and so that when we click the set value, it's going to call that function, pass the our new our input box value to here, which is then going to set our spreadsheet. You could have a with with success handler. So um, if it successfully moves the information, then you can alert or send send uh, something to the um, sidebar saying, "Hey, it's successful." Uh, we're not going to go over that today, but let's go ahead and have a look at this. Let's open our sidebar. Great, so we have our initial value. Let's just to show just for fun. We'll get a value, which is three. And we'll put in five in our input box and set value. And there you go. Set value is there. And that is all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will look at how to grab arrays and set arrays back to our spreadsheets. Uh, stay tuned.